plus 2 1. So we may use this for the second equation. I would like to choose first equation. And then 1 is equal to 1 plus 2 14. We are asked to solve the following numbers, number 12, 13, and 14, given these figures and given this parallelogram. Take a look in number 12. Measurement of angle ADC is 130 degrees. So where is that? Measurement of angle ADC, this angle is equal to 130 degrees. Measurement of angle 1 is 35 degrees. But you have to remember that these two angles, angle ADC and angle BCD, are consecutive angles. And therefore, if they are consecutive angles, one of the properties of the parallelogram, they are supplementary. If they are supplementary, the sum is 180 degrees. So therefore, if this is 130 degrees, this angle will be equal to 150 degrees. So that 130 degrees plus 50 degrees, we have 180 degrees. However, angle 1 is 35 degrees. Therefore, angle 2 is equal to 50 degrees. Got it, people? Yes. Take a look. Number 13, so this is equal to 15 degrees. In number 13, AC, that is the diagonal, is equal to 30. And AE is equal to 3x plus 3. Another property of the parallelogram, the diagonals bisect each other. Meaning, this is divided into two equal parts. Therefore, if AC is 30 degrees, we are asked to find AE. Therefore, AC will be equal to 2 times AE. But what is AC? 30. This will be 2 times the quantity of 3x plus 3. There are two ways to solve. Since it's divisible by, ter by 2, I may divide it by 2 right away. Yes. So I will divide it by 2. By 2, cancel this. 15 is equal to 3x plus 3. Additional property of equality. I will add negative 3. I will add negative 3. This will be cancelled. This will be 12 is equal to 3x over 3 over 3. So therefore, x is equal to 4. If x is 4, this will be 12. That will be 3 times 4 plus 3 is equal to 12 plus 3. Therefore, AE is equal to 15 units. And if you will check it, that is correct. If AC is equal to 15, and if by check, the diagonal AC has been bisected by diagonal BD, AE will be equal to 15 units. Got it? Yes. Next! Number 14. DC is equal to 6x plus 1. Let me denote this 6x plus 1. BC is equal to 3x plus 2y. AB is equal to 25. So I will use these two first because these two sides do not have any property or relationship even it is a parallelogram. But these two opposite sides are parallel and congruent. So kung congruent siya, I will have 6x plus y is equal to 25. And then, we have 3x plus 2y, this will be equal to ad. Is the given correct? 
Are we lacking something? A D is equal to 40. So, 40. Thank you so much. 14? So therefore, these two opposite sides are congruent. We will have 3x plus 2y is equal to 14. So, we have what we call system of linear equation into unknown or into variables. So, there are three ways to solve this. But I would rather solve this using elimination method. I would like to eliminate y. So, if I will eliminate y, I will multiply this by negative 2. I will multiply this by 1. Having said that and distributing, you will have negative 12x minus 2y is equal to negative 50. And then we will have 3x plus 2y equals 14. And then eliminate. This will be what? Negative 9x. This will be what? Negative 36. Divide both sides by negative 9, by negative 9. X is equal to 4. So if X is 4, what is Y? So we may use this or the second equation. I would like to choose first equation because I have Y here already. Can you follow? Yes. So I will have 6x plus y is equal to 25. And you will have 6 times 4 because x is 4 is equal to 25. This is 24. y is equal to 25 minus 24. And then y is equal to 1. Let us check. If x is 4, this will be 24. You will have 6 times 4 plus 1 is equal to 25. Unit. So take a look. They are congruent. That is correct. Similarly, if x is equal to 4, you will have 3 times 4 plus 2 times 1. This will be 12 plus 2, 14 units. And then take a look again. These two opposite sides must be congruent according to the properties of parallelogram and they will be equal. But uh, opposite sides are equal to 14. Got it, people? Thank you for watching.